this, this is where children belong. Welcome this part of our worshiping throng. Water, God's word, bread, cup, prayer, and song. This is where children belong. Good morning. Good morning. When you guys walked in the door, every time you walk in the door, you see there's like a something printed on the wall over there. Avery, can you see it from where, from where you're sitting? You can see there's something printed on the wall. Does anyone remember what it says? You look at it every Sunday, don't you? Huh? You want to go look? Go see. <laughs> and while she's looking, what it is is kind of our church mission statement, kind of what, what we strive to be, what we want to be as a church. Is she coming back? How far did she go? <laughs> she's memorizing it real quick. Okay. It's also... <laughs> Do you know what it says? What does it say? Oh, no, no, no. The big, like, what's printed on the wall. That one. I did read that one. <laughs> you read everything it's you could see. It's too long. It's too long. Yep. So we're building a community. It's on the back of your bulletin, too. We're building a community for all who seek to know God and want to live in peace with one another. You guys see it all the time. It becomes, you kind of don't notice it anymore because you see it so often. And the one thing we're, I want to look at is that word peace. What is that word? Peace. What does it mean to you? What does it mean? It means that everything is like loved and kind. Everything is loved and kind. Anything else? What does peace not? What does peace not look like? What does it look like to not have peace? War. War. Naden. What is, what is yucky? Fighting? Is that not peace? Yeah. Not like fighting and war and yucky. But peace is still and calm. Ah, peace is good, isn't it? Oh, it feels so good to have peace. And you know what? Do we always have peace? No. Because we're humans. And if we're humans, which I think all of you are, if we're humans, that means guaranteed not if but when yucky stuff happens like like icky stuff like hurt feelings and frustration and disappointment and fighting with friends at recess or who's going to sit with who at lunch oh some of that stuff feels really yucky and it is not peaceful is it and jesus knew that we wouldn't always have peace in our life. He knew that things were going to get rocky sometimes. We would be sad and hurt and all those feelings. But he said this. He wanted to remind us. He says this in the book of John. Peace I leave with you. Jesus leaves us peace. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not let them be afraid. Ooh, Jesus is peace. He is peace when we call upon him. Now, today is what we call World Communion Sunday, and that means Christians all over the world are taking communion like we do every Sunday. And what's one of the things that we do when we take communion? We do this thing we call passing of the peace, right? And what do you say? Peace, peace be with you. And then you say to the other person, and also with you. So I will go up to you and I'd say, Peace be with you, and you say also with you. We do that before our communion, don't we? And it's kind of like saying to somebody, peace be with you, Jesus be with you, calm be with you. He, what we're doing is we are, we are wanting for that person that we're taking communion with. We want them to experience all that peace and all that calm and all that still that Jesus gives to us. So that's an important part of our communion. Before we do it every week, we say, peace be with you. It's saying, Naden, I want Jesus to be with you, and I want you to be calm and still. <sighs> and so today, when we do communion, I want you to think about that part. Like, I really want you to look in someone's eyes before, before you do that, and I really want you to think about peace be with you and also with you. Like, that's an important part of our communion, so that when we are done with communion, we feel that, that we have together given each other peace, okay? So we're going to talk about that a little bit more upstairs, about communion and why we do it and all the stuff that comes along with communion every Sunday. So are you guys ready? Let's go. Yeah. 